hinaanong din tayo ng ating consistent sa Panginoon. Do you think that's prayer to the Lord? So, I would suggest also recognize Jesus as your boss, hindi ang tao. Yan ang hinaanong ko lagi. Whenever I go to my work, I'm not working with man, but I'm working with Jesus. Kasi siya nagbigay sa akin yun. You know what you're gonna do? Kapag na-travel ka, He will be the one to defend you. Because you work with your Lord, hindi sa tao. He will defend you kahit na wala kang gagawin. Siya ang mag-aano sa iyo, na-assure you. When you recognize that you work with Jesus. So, work for a race in the next life. So verse 24, tell us that when we do our best, when we worship at our work, when we recognize Jesus as our boss, we will receive eternal compensation and a benefit package that is out of the work. Yun ang ano natin na, focus natin in yung worldly things. No? Diba sinabi sa Colossians chapter 3 verse 25, anyone who does wrong will be repaid for his wrong and there is no favoritism. Please remind us that our behavior, whether good or bad, will lead to a payday in the next life. Dapat mag-concentrate tayo doon. Hindi dito sa, ano, yung busy-busy tayo sa, ano. I don't say that you don't have to work, but, you know, don't forget your, uh, your, uh, obligation to, uh, to the Lord. Na siya ang provider. Siya ang Jehovah, Jehovah Jaira, God provider. Diba? So, you know what I, you, you know what, so, alam niyo naman sugod yung gusto kong sabihin, diba? Diba? So, sabi nga dito sa Revelation 4 verse 1, Master, provide your slave with what is right and fair because you know that you also have a master in heaven. Sa anong ibig sabihin niyan? No? Saan niya, saan niya, saan niya, ano? saan niya, niya sinasabi? Pastor po. Kanino? Sa mga, may mga, ano? Master are not free to set their own standards on how to treat their slave. So, ibig sabihin, ina-address yan sa mga may mga business, sa mga may-ari ng mga company na tinatrabahoan nyo, sa yung mga employer nyo, di ba? If you have business over here, you know, treat your uh, employee fair. What do you mean by that? Bayaran mo ng tama. Di ba? Bayaran mo ng tama. Bayaran mo yung benefits nila ng tama dahil may master ka pa sa taas, itignan ka kung tama yung ano. And, you know, if you have a business like that and you pay, you do what is right, God will bless your business. God will bless your business. He will multiply your business. Magugulat ka na lang na meron ka ng mga out, uh, nag-expand yung mga out, yung ano mo, yung uh, business mo. Right? The same thing with, the same thing with our ministry. Di ba? Sa ating ministry, if you are faithful to the God, you will multiply. Hindi tayo, hindi tayo mag-aano yan eh. We are, we are not the one who's gonna multiply. God will do it. Because this is His church, di ba? He built His church. Hindi naman itong binil niya eh. That's not the, the time. Di ba? The people. Okay? Uh, sabi nga nito, Master are not free to set their own standard on how to treat their slave. Rather, they must do so what is right and fair was a, a revolutionary call to tell master to care about their treatment of slaves. Sinabi niya, if slave owners were to treat their uh, slave with integrity and bosses, today must also, if you have people working for you, it is important to deal with fairly with them just as God himself treats you. Okay, that's fair enough. No? Actions is step. Let me give you some practical step in order to make our relationship work, we must work at them. Yung mga tip na to, uh, you know, it's up to you, but uh, you know, I pray that uh, you can uh, use it for your uh, 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 workplace, right? Uh, sa marriage, if you, uh, sa marriage, if you are a uh, marital uh, relationship is a uh, bit rocky, remember this. If one spouse is willing to change, the marriage can change, okay? Wives, you don't have to wait for your husband to be more loving before you submit to him. Okay? In fact, as you respect him and affirm his significance, his love may start flowing. Okay? Likewise, sa husband naman, don't have to hold out on love until they see their wives act more submissive. When you determine to love your wife as Christ love as the church, you will make it much easier for your wife to submit to your loving leadership. 
Okay? Wives. Sa mga wives. Tingin na tayo. Okay, wives. Tell your husband today that with God's help, you are going to follow His lead. You can think of one thing that you've been holding out on, then mention it to him. Husband, hindi na tayo. Eye to eye. <laughs> okay? Husband, think one thing you can you can do today. Okay? Put your love into action. Hindi lang sa salita, it says action. Diba? Gusto ko tayo manood naman action na movies, diba? So do it in love, action. Even if you don't feel like doing it, if you have any bitterness toward your wife, confess it to her. Okay? Confess ka, di ba? Sa family naman, a good one. Determine today to take the step you need to take whether you are a parent or a child. That was a family like husband and wife, you know? Determine today to take the step you need to take. Whether you are a parent o kaparehas din nilang a child. Children, practice first step obedience. Okay? Children, practice first time obedience. When your parent asks you to do something, I will say it again. When your parents ask you to do something or tells you not to do something, say something like this. Okay? Especially when your mom said, Yes, mom, I will obey. Okay? Instead of uh, pouting or yelling, honor your or yelling, honor your God and your parents by obeying. Hindi yung sa pag sinabi, para masisinuhan yung muso mo dahil ayaw mong gawin, di ba? Kung bagay, ano eh, baka si mama na yung pang ano, sabi ko niya. Kung may silo lang ng ano, yung pang masisilo yung muso sa nakasimamod, di ba? So, no, obey your, uh, uh, your parents. Okay, especially your mom, they're busy in a work, uh, workhouse, cooking together. You know, they will appreciate it if you obey what they say. Okay? And our parents, again, ask your children this week, what one thing you've been doing that causes them to exasperated or annoyed? Ano ba yung mga na ano? Ask them para malaman nyo. Get alone with each child in order to reaffirm your love. Diba? In the workplace, it's not too late to bring Jesus to work with you. Okay? It's not too late to bring Jesus to work with you. And sa mga may mga business, sa mga may mga tauhan dito na nagtatrabaho para sa kanila, try to picture Jesus as your, uh, ano, as sa mga, uh, sa mga employee pala na, ano, I'm doing myself, right? Uh, Try to uh, picture Jesus as your boss this week. Pag nagpunta tayo sa trabaho natin na uh, bukas, di ba? You know, uh, think through how you work will be different with him behind the desk of your supervisor. Think about it, you know, para maano mo, di ba? Sa mga employers naman, may mga business tayo dito na ano, uh, may mga tauhan na tauhan, pray for your employees by need every day this week, you know? the end of the week, ask each one of the uh, they think you are treating them fairly. Okay? And uh, my conclusion here is uh, everything we do in marriage, in family, okay, and in the workplace must be done in recognition that we have a master over us. Okay? I would say again, everything we do in marriage the family and in the workplace must be done in recognition that we have a master over us. As such, our attitude should always be to listening. Whether through submitting or loving, obeying or encouraging, working or supervising, our master will reward us for our service to him. We come back to the pollution question. This is my question to you, brother and sister. Before I finish my uh, preaching, you can see where that you're ready. Okay, in, my question is: Is Jesus supreme? Is Jesus is supreme in your life? Siya ba ang supreme sa iyong buhay? O ay yung sarili? 
then if he is then he will change your life if you allow him to okay he will change your life if you allow him pero kapag ikaw ang supremo sa iyong buhay don't expect that yes okay Uh, let's all pray. Father Lord, thank you so much for letting me just uh, everything, Lord. Uh, Lord, please, uh, Lord, Lord Father, the word that we just learned, Lord Father, to have our relationship, Lord Father, to become more uh, closer to our family, to uh, to my uh, to our uh, spouse, our children, Lord, help us, Lord Father, to be come. Uh, Submit to yourself, Lord Father. To submit to you. Help us, Lord Father, to submit our life to you, Lord Father. So that we can learn to submit to each other, Lord Father. And no, Lord, help us, Lord Father, to uh, rely on you, Lord Father. Uh, raising our children, Lord Father. That you may be the one who guide us. Give us wisdom, Lord Father. So that we can uh, bring them, Lord Father, our, our kids, Lord, to your uh, to your kingdom, to your words, Lord Father. Help us, Lord Father, in your obedience to the word. And, uh, thank you, Lord, for this. Uh, I pray, Lord Father, Lord, for uh, all the people who share, Lord Father, that you may uh, touch their heart, Lord Father, but especially in the day of Sunday, Lord Father. It's so really hard, Lord Father. But, uh, you, you know, I believe, Lord Father, we submit our life to you, Lord. There is no problem in submitting to Lord Father. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. We praise you, magnify your name. Praise you.